Good afternoon, everybody. Quick update on House Bill 1347. It's now the law. Uh, we've been uh, getting it signed by the governor's office, which happened about a week or so ago. And um, so it's now officially the law. A couple things that are happening, two things that are happening you need to be aware of. Number one, this law is effective immediately. So as soon as the governor signed it, the law is effective and all the municipal utilities are required to start putting these utilities into the names of the tenant. So most laws uh, are effective July 1 after the legislature meets, they pass them and then they give till July 1. But this one, we got a little extra benefit for investors that the law is effective immediately. So you can go ahead and start notifying your tenants and making sure that the utilities are in their names. I would also uh, double, uh, double down on it and make certain that your lease agreements provide that a tenant is liable for the utility bills. So do, do both things. So you've got the statute, but also make it part of your contract. That way it's a little bit easier to enforce in court. Make them put it in their names, right? So that's the first thing. Uh, it's effective now and start, you can start implementing. The second thing is that we're already starting to see um, the cities and towns try to resist this new law. They're aware of it. Uh, we just got a copy of a email that's being sent around by some of their lobbyists and what they're proposing and saying. And they're trying to, not surprisingly, try to find some wiggle room in the statute and, uh, and find ways to not implement it However, the language is clear, and uh, you, it, it's uh, you, tenant responsibility, right? Sorry, ah, tenant responsibility on these utility bills. The, some of the cities are not implementing it very quickly, so it remains to be seen if your particular city, and we're aware of South Bend, is sort of refusing to put some of these bills in the tenant name. And um, I don't know if that's a logistic problem or if they're trying to um, set up a litigation on this issue. So if your town is not doing it, you want to, I think, first try to bring the statute to their attention in a professional way. Second, you want to insist that they implement new procedures to make it so that tenants are on these bills and not you. And third, if they really refuse and are trying to say, hey, it's going to take us a little bit of time to implement, you know, that kind of a thing, there's going to be a little bit of a gray area there, I think, in terms of enforcement. But ultimately, you ought to be able to get all of these bills in the tenant's name. If not, I'm guaranteeing that there's going to be litigation somewhere, some city is going to refuse to implement this statute and uh, investors and landlords and property owners are going to have to fight the next fight, which is going to be litigation. So we'll see how that goes down. But that's the that's the status right now. House Bill 1347, it's the law. The governor signed it. All the cities and towns have to Im implement it immediately. Be sure that you're taking steps to do that yourself. And second of all, be aware that the cities are trying to find ways to resist uh, this new uh, change. And you may have to, um, you know, push back a little bit and we may have some litigation eventually. So we'll see uh, how that goes. But that's the update. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.